Girls love to talk. We talk about everything and anything, and we love to share what's happening in the lives of others, good and bad. Yes, we've all been there. You know what I'm talking about. We've all been gossip girls at one time or another. But gossiping can hurt and sometimes ruin a person's life. And in our world, we can share gossip around the globe within seconds. Let's watch together and see what happens when one of the Today's Girls starts a gossip blog. It's you! What are you talking about? You're the one who's writing the Too Much Information blog? No, I'm not. I don't even know what you're talking about. Just that. Way too much information. Everyone is trying to figure out who's writing it, and everyone at school is reading it. I can't believe you're posting that stuff. It's causing a lot of hurt feelings. It looks like an advice blog to me. More like a gossip blog, Ambria. I mean, who else would know about Alexis's cutting problem, Kayla's pregnancy scare, my love life, and your whole YouTube fiasco? Look, it's not me, I promise. I was just, I was just reading it and posting a comment. Ah, uh, so you do know about it. Okay, yeah, I know about it, but I'm not the only one. The entire school knows about it, but that doesn't mean that I'm the one writing it. I can't believe you told the whole world about me and Connor. Ambria, that was private, as was all the other stuff you divulged. Why would you do it? Why would you tell everyone that? And to think we were just starting to bring you in as one of us. One of us? Taylor, what does that even mean? I, who's us? Our group of friends, Ambria. I thought I already was your friend. You were. An emphasis on the word were. Uh, you're sitting at my table? Your table? Yes, this is my table. You know, the table that everybody ignores and doesn't notice me sitting there. I guess I belong here. Nobody's talking to me. Everybody's ignoring me, and when I try to talk to them, they just turn away from me. Well, everybody but you. Why are you even talking to me? Oh, little princess, getting the silent treatment. Let me guess, no one responds to your text messages, no one answers your calls, and they all act like you're invisible. You'll get used to it. I have. Anyway, what did you do? I didn't do anything. It's what they think I did. And who even are you? Uh, Jessica. Oh, my bad. Invisible Jessica. Wait, you're not the Jessica that threw the party that ruined my entire life, are you? The one and only. But I don't think I'm ruining your life. Looks like you're doing a pretty good job of that on your own. Why do you get the silent treatment? Um, have you seen me, the way I dress? I'm basically different from everyone else at this dumb school. I mean, no one likes me here, but they sure do love my parties. Yeah, I didn't. They all think I started a gossip blog. Well, did you? No! Well, if not you, just figure out who did. That's easy enough. Yeah, easy enough for you to say. How would I even do that? A process of elimination. Who is not being gossiped about? Madison. It's Madison. We're often surprised to find out who's gossiping about others. It's more shocking when we find out it's one of our best friends. You know, as Christians, we need to uplift and encourage others when they fall, but often we do the opposite. We throw salt on the wound, we turn our backs, we talk about it, and we walk away. So how do we set the example for our daughter or granddaughter when you see that she's gossiping about her friends or she is the topic of the hot story? Just that. Set the example and be the strong role model. Don't allow gossip at the dinner table or even in your home. And if she has a blog, read what she's writing and encourage her to blog about the positive qualities of a person. 
And if she's the one being gossiped about, let her know that it'll soon pass and the person who started it will be on the next hot story. Encourage her not to feed into the gossip drama. If there isn't a reaction from her, the gossip will soon die. Ephesians 4.29 states, Do not let any unwholesome talk come from your mouth, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. On next week's episode, will Ambria find out about who's behind the gossip blog? Join me on Today's Girls and find out what she does.